So this is my project that I did for Imagine 2015. Uh, it basically, it's a displacement map over my face and then over my eyes, and it, it's called Culture Clash because of the clash between the American and Swedish society inside myself and inside every person from a different country. Kind of, it's supposed to be representing the two halves of myself. So how we did it here, it's called Culture Clash, you know. Uh, and so what we did here was we started with a picture, like this over here, and we put it on one side, and we centered it on the image, you know, just set it over on the side, uh, without the Swedish part, see, it's just like that. Uh, and, so, and then I, I mirrored it and put it on the other side, so then it looked, you know, the same on both sides. I kept the original background after much thought on that. Um, so how do you display something over my face? It looks like it's you know supposed to be kind of over my face like that. Well, that requires it's actually quite a complicated process. So what you do is you start out with a picture with an image much like this. See so see the blurredness of my face. So you take the same image and and you blur it. And so then after you've done that, you have to save that as a different Photoshop document over here. See this is. One, like some of these are John Face PSD and then after you do that you go over and you have to go to and then you want to blur this black and white image after you take out all the colors so you go to filter and then you'd go to blur Gaussian blur but I can't do it because I'm on the right layer so filter blur Gaussian blur you can put about 10 pixels set that go then you go over to the other then you uh, save it and then you can go, you go distort, displace, and then you go here, like, you know, you just mess around with those, decide what you want, and then you press OK, you, you choose the file that you originally want to copy off of, and then you get this, this Swedish, let's see if I can only look at it, yeah, this, see this Swedish flag thing, only over my face, so you, you erase it where you don't want it, and you eventually come up, this and then you have to go through the eye which you do the same process over the eye you displace it right over the eyeball there and then you set it up like that uh, you have to make sure everything's in the kind of the same opacity that you want say this has the opacity of 31% this has the opacity of 92% and then you you know you erase what you don't want like I didn't want my lips to be displaced over and I didn't want my hair to be displaced over uh, there were some problems with this project. Me deciding what kind of background I wanted was a serious problem. Like I wanted to go maybe darker and have a darker one, but I couldn't really think of anything without having this ear, see around the ear here, being too obviously cut out because that's not a good thing. That makes it very obvious that it was photoshopped. Uh, yeah, I used Photoshop to make this project in case I didn't get that. Um, or I didn't know if I should go black or blue or whatever, but I finally decided for the original one because it's not too busy in this background and you can't really tell what's there. But you can tell that there's something behind me. I had tried some various things. I don't know, none of them really worked. That took the majority of the project. Um, on my project plan, what I did was I was going to just experiment and learn the first week, which I did. The second week I was supposed to kind of start on the project, and I didn't really do that because I was gone four out of the five days of class. But that's okay because I caught back up and got it done. You know, I did the work what I needed to do. Uh, there are some regret regrets that I have about this project. These ears here, you can tell, are kind of out of focus. And I tried really hard to get these stars out of focus and this stripe out of focus, but it didn't work very well. So that's something that if I could do it again, I would try again. And maybe if I was going to do it again, I wouldn't have one side, the American side on this side and the Swedish side on the other side, and have me central in the middle of the image and have half my face be American and half my face be Swedish. But that'd be a little bit more difficult, so that didn't really end up working for me. Um, cutting out of the hair and erasing around it is very difficult because it's hard to get only the hair and not your skin. And cutting out around the eye is also very difficult because you want to get only the eye and not anything else. So it, this is not my first Photoshop project. I've done this quite a bit before, so it really wasn't that big of a deal for me to deal with. Um, this project, I think, ended up pretty well. I, I really wanted to say something with it, uh, as I do most of my projects. See, the goal, like anyone, anyone can make something cool, but the idea is to make something cool that has lots of meaning in it. And that's what I think I've done here. 
Uh, it's not quite perfect and it's not quite how I would like it if you know I had infinite time and infinite resources, but I think that it's ended up pretty well.